Hi guys. I got a bunch of DMs on Instagram this morning asking how I edited this photo. So I thought it would be a good idea to make a video tutorial. So here is the before. Make sure it's clicked. Okay, before command I. So you do to invert it after or you can do the paintbrush thing where I reveal what's underneath. And I'll show you guys at the end of this video how I did that. A lot of you were asking. Okay, so I always start off in Lightroom, of course. Hopefully my computer's not gonna be slow. Okay, and I always start with small one because you gotta love small one, right? And then I'm gonna add, for, let me just back up. This was taking, taken at, um, about 5.30 in the afternoon and we, it was still pretty bright. So I took her over to like a cave shaded area and we were at the beach. The light was bouncing off the sand and it lit her face up pretty good. So yeah, let's get started. Oh, and here's my settings. ISO 100, I shoot with a Sigma Art 24 and my F stops at 1.4 and my shutter speed. So. Here we go, small one. And I'm gonna increase the white balance a little bit. Her dress looks red here, but it's kind of a burnt orange. It's from Joyfully. And then I'm going to increase the contrast. And if you double click, the clarity goes to zero. And I wanna up it a little bit to about 25. And that's all I'm going to do in um, Lightroom. And I'm going to take it into Photoshop. I like Photoshop just because I feel like you have more control over the layers. And you can change the opacity. And I, I just, I started off in Photoshop. Then I went to Lightroom. And then I, I'm doing both. So, this is just what works for me. I'm sure you could do the same thing in Lightroom. I'm, I'm just used to Photoshop. So first I'm going to go to the adjustments panel and click levels and this has the black is matte so I'm going to bring back the blacks and make it like more of a contrasty image <laughs> if that's even a word. Okay so I'm going to bring up the blacks to there and then I'm going to bring up the midtones to there and maybe the highlights too. Yeah. So here's the before and there's the after. Then I'm going to flatten it. Flattening it, flattening it just condenses everything and saves it. And it takes forever sometimes. Okay. And now I'm going to go to the adjustments again and I'm going to hit color balance. Now this affects the tones of the color, I mean, of the midtones, shadows, and highlights. I'm first going to click midtones, and I'm going to increase the yellow. When you increase the yellow, it takes off the blue. So, you'll see. There's the before. There's the after. And then I'm also going to do the highlights. And I'm going to increase it probably, oh man, my computer, not that much, to about five. So, here's the before, here's the after, that's the before, my computer's being really slow, here's the after. Now I'm going to flatten it. Come on. Is Photoshop this slow for you guys sometimes? I don't know. It's like it picks its days. Usually on the days where I make video tutorials. Okay. So I kind of want her to pop more. So I'm going to go to adjustments. Hit brightness and contrast and increase the contrast. And I just like the way that looks. Okay. Maybe it's not for you, but. This is just what I do. Okay, now I'm going to flatten it. And the last thing I'm going to do, oh man, I'm going to run it through portraiture. I always, I suck at saying that word. 
and what I do is I use this little dropper tool and I click her face so it only affects those tones. See what happens? Everything that's white is going to get like smoothed out. So there we go. There's the before, there's the after. And I'm gonna flatten it. And that's all I did. Pretty simple edit. Okay, so I'm gonna teach you how to do the layer mask. All I do is go, I right click, hit virtual copy, reset the image, and then I go to photo, edit in Adobe Photoshop, And then I'm going to use my mover tool. If that's, I think that's what I, I just call stuff different. I mean, whatever I like. Like, my vocabulary is probably not proper. Okay, so when you drag it, the square will light up when it's even. See how it's not even right now? If you drag it down, ta da! And then you can always like decrease the opacity to see if it shows up. Yeah, that looks good. It's even. And then I use a black. Oh, wait. I gotta create a layer mask. So you hit this button down here, creates a layer mask, and it's white. So whatever you. So if you paint with black, it's going to reveal what's underneath. It like erases it. So here you go. Ta -da. You can do this with any image. Uh, not that one. Okay, so here's my little boy. Nope. Okay. So you just drag it with my handy dandy mover tool. Well, first you gotta select this. Alright, select the right image. And you drag it. And then you line him up. So it bada bing bada boom and then hit layer mask paint with black make sure your brush is selected and then it reveals it ta-da <laughs> so yeah this is what I do so hopefully you like this video and if you do um, and if you want me to um, make more videos or want me to edit another picture, just tell me in the comments. So, thank you guys. Bye.